Well, good morning, good afternoon, whatever this is with you watching it. I've been working on a pretty fun little project here with Chasm that I'm getting ready to bring to you guys pretty soon. And I needed a Netflix cloud server. And I chose to do this in a fairly easy way. We did a video on this a couple of years ago, but I thought it was a great opportunity to actually create another video and show you how easy setting Nextcloud up with Proxmox in a container can really be. So I've shown you how to do it with Snap and do it a few other ways as well, but really a turnkey container is the fastest way to do that. So welcome to today's video of setting up Nextcloud on Proxmox inside of a container with no command line. So the first thing we're going to do, as always, is head over to our Proxmox web interface and we're going to go to our local drive where we store all of our container images and whatnot. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and remove this image so we can re-download it with you. You won't have to do that step because it won't be on your computer. And then I'm going to click templates and this opens up all the different templates that we have. Now there's a lot provided with Proxmox as far as like operating and systems and stuff that we can look at. But then there's all these separate turnkey templates as well. Now there's quite a few to go through and I don't want to spend my time looking through each one individually. So I'm just going to search Nextcloud up here and you're going to notice it's going to pop up and I just press download. All right, so everything's downloaded now, and the next thing we're going to need to do is close this window. And give me a minute, I can hear an echo in my So if the first half of this video had an echo in it, I apologize for that. But So we've downloaded our image now, and we're ready to start making our container. So we're just going to go up to Create CT here. We're going to give it a name. Keep it different from my other one. We're going to set our password. We're going to do a lot of setting passwords today. And they need to match. Now we'll hit next. Then we're going to choose our image. In this case, Nextcloud. Hit next. Assign our storage. Of course, we don't really probably want to go with the 8 gigs. I'm going to give mine 30 today. And press next. One CPU I find to be sufficient for like home use as you get more users and stuff on it, you may want to consider adding resources. And I also find 12, 512 to be plenty for what I do with Nextcloud. Now, again, if you're adding a lot of Nextcloud apps and doing things, you may want more CPU and memory here. Next, I'm going to change my bridge. In most scenarios, you probably won't have to. For a static IP address, I am going to set one today and not be lazy. And I'll show you why a little bit later in this video. It, you notice when we enter a correct IP address, our box stays red. We need to put our subnet mask in the form of a CIDR notation at the end of it. Most standard home networks are slash 24, and mine is today since I use VLANs for traffic sever segregation and not subnetting. We're going to assign the gateway address for our VLAN and we're going to press next and then we're going to press next again and next to confirm that everything's good. Now we're going to create our container and I apologize for any background noise you might be having. My litter box has decided to clean itself in the background. Alrighty, so now we have a working container and you can see it up here labeled as 116 right under the one that I set up for my other project here. And you can see that we have the assigned IP address and we want to remember that for a few minutes here. So we're going to press start. We're going to open our console. And this is really going to be the only command line we're going to use. And we're going to switch quite quickly here to a graphical user interface. And I'd really call a login screen no command line. So we'll enter root and the password that we set up. And you can see we're at a graphical user interface. First thing it wants is the SQL data password. So you enter one. It's going to ask you to confirm it. Now it asks for you to set up your admin password and to confirm your admin password. Now this is the point where it's really important to remember that IP address. So unless you're using 
a DNS server in your house and you're able to assign this server a domain name, you're going to want to give it the IP address so that you can communicate with it. If you don't, Nextcloud won't let you log in and you're going to have to do some fancy stuff to try to remedy this problem. So we're going to enter our IP address and this time we don't need to give it our subnet. We'll apply. We don't have an API key, so we're just going to skip. We're not going to give it an email address, so we're just going to skip. And now we can install. And I'm going to leave that section of the installation actually live for you when I edit this video because I really want you to see exactly how fast that installed. Now we just need to take note of our IP address and we can head back to our web browser, open up a tab, enter it. We have a self-signed certificate, so as always we need to hit advanced and proceed and we're at our login screen. To log in for the first time, admin and the password that we set up in the installation. Now, to get to set up more users, because you're probably not going to want to log in every time with your admin user, you're going to click up here at the admin, and you're going to go to users, you're going to go to new user, and we can create a new user. We don't need to fill in email address, groups, unless we want to use them, we can, or default quota. And there you have it. Now we have a new user that we can log in with. So if we go ahead and log out here, we have a user account that we can begin working with. Here's all of our default files and everything ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation. It was quick. It was 10 minutes real time filming. And I hope that you're able to successfully create your own Nextcloud container using turnkey images inside of your Proxmox web server. As always, have a good night.